and that's where this series of work speaks. Haven't you heard their voices? It's the longest journey, a mother's journey, from Eritrea to Ethiopia to Somalia, back to Ethiopia, to Djibouti, to Saudi Arabia, back to Djibouti, to France, to the USA, to becoming a banned people, to shifting reality. Into another reality, creating and opening your own doors when the ways appear closed. The most uncertain end. Although the UNHCR's Dangerous Crossing is a creative campaign to warn against forced migration, we are an example of hashtag goals. Or those that made it. Making it still has its trials. This project here is my mother is in the picture. She's wearing the red scarf, my, uh, my niece Baraka. I have my son who's my little baby in my arms there. And my little daughter's in the back, and my, uh, and my other son is standing there as well. This project is about co collecting sea trash and making it into islands so that you can create new nations. At home, the fields are green, and the land gives back. I'm inspired by creative protests like this that inform my work. Dear Prime Minister, please grow in India. The beauty within begs to be without, without war, without poverty, without ignorance, without oppression, without corruption, without waste. That is what this series of work informs. It's a human tragedy. All of life is one. We are all one. To abandon ourselves is tragic. This informs my next art and activist work. Timeline, reflecting upon and remaking journeys. The next project was made through a collective work, and so that's why I call this Timeline Tribe, because it took a tribe to get there, and it still takes a tribe to continue on. The promise of a better life, inspiration from working on Flotra, an LED flotation, floating tetrahedron, phosphorescent, uh, with, with phosphorescent lighting. And the lead of this project is Daniel Anderson. He's sitting in the crowd right now, shaking his head. But thank you, Daniel, for giving me the opportunity to work on this project. It inspired me to move and create I Am Human. And so for all who need it, Lotro was built in five days by a team of eight, all of us so different from each other, on a budget of less than $3,000. Can you imagine? If these were floating throughout the Mediterranean, throughout the Red Sea, in various places, stocked with food and water, how many people they could rescue? 